and welcome to Rocking Sprocket. This is the James Webb Space Telescope. It was launched into space on the 25th of December 2021. The spacecraft is now orbiting a point in space called the Grange Point 2 and has finally started sending its photos back to us. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has an impressive primary mirror made up of 18 beryllium mirrors which are coated in gold. This is so the mirror can better reflect light from the infrared spectrum which will help us to learn about the origins of the universe itself. In this project today we're going to recreate the incredible look of the James Webb Space Telescope by replicating its primary mirror. We're going to make our mirror roughly 60cm by 60cm and use timber battens to support it. This will also make it stand proud of the wall. We may decide to put lighting behind it later on. So for this project we're going to need plywood sheet, 18 gold hexagonal mirrors, timber battens, black paint and as an optional extra we finished our mirror off with a brass coloured plaque. Tools we are using for this are set squares and rulers, mechanical pencil, sandpaper, jigsaw, various paintbrushes and wood glue. Unfortunately we were unable to find any plywood that would allow us to make the mirror out of one piece. Hopefully you can. To fix this we found two smaller boards and decided to fasten them together. We did this by cutting out three strips of battening wood. We then measured and drilled holes to fasten them onto our plywood. Despite our best efforts, the plywood was slightly warped, so we arranged our battens to try and fix this. Luckily, as we fixed our battens down, we managed to correct the warp. Once we had a single board that was supported at the back, it was time to arrange our mirrors and draw around them to let us see the border of the final mirror. Once we had the shape of the primary mirror, we were then able to go further and mark what would be our black outer heat shield. We did this by measuring one inch from our mirror border all the way around. We then drew a second line to mark this shape. To cut out the shape, we used a jigsaw and cut one line at a time to try and make it as accurate as we could. Once our shape was cut out, we realised that our hexagonal mirrors were not perfectly hexagonal and we spent a few hours trying to get the correct configuration of golden mirrors before we were happy. We then decided that as we would not be able to see our guidelines once the mirror was painted, that we would make a wooden hexagonal piece to stick in the middle. This would help us to align our mirrors and give us somewhere to mount the plaque at the end. While our hexagonal centerpiece was gluing, we decided to start painting our mirror. We gave it two coats of paint. Next we needed to start sticking the mirrors down. This is an important step in the build and one that is difficult to correct so we were a little bit nervous. We spent quite a bit of time placing the mirrors making sure they were exactly where we wanted them before we started to peel the backings off and fix them onto the board one by one. The next step was the beautifully satisfying job of peeling the protective cover off the mirrors. The final step was to stick down a custom engraved plate at the centre of the mirror which finished it nicely. We gave the mirror a wipe and that's it. 
The project took three to four days in all and was definitely worth it. The mirror is going to be hung up on our wall proudly as we wait for whatever discoveries the real James Webb Space Telescope will be making in the years to come. It looks striking. We will put a link to our website in the description where you will find a list of all the materials and parts we used for this project. Please like and subscribe and make sure to press the little bell so you don't miss a single upload. Thank you for watching and happy making!